Warm good morning to all of you over here, ladies and gentlemen, and the dignitaries on dais. Uh, embarrassing me with the introductions. Uh, I take it. Yeah, I take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, I've been asked to speak about the paper and packaging industry and the future growth prospects. Now, I was looking at the industry and how to speak and communicate on this fact. So I thought, let me split the industry into the usage patterns of the industry and then let's talk about each and every sector separately. Uh, paper and packaging boards are used for about four major applications. One is communication and transformation, I mean transmission of information. The other is storage or archival of records. Third, we say packaging and fourth are specialty applications. Uh, I'll go one by one on each usage segment, the growth prospects. Coming to communication. Paper is an excellent means of communication and as technology is evolving, the usage of paper in means of communication is getting reduced or replaced by more efficient technology. That's, that's inevitable and that looks that it is taking over strongly if you look at ways of communication by that I mean whether it's education, giving us news, giving us information, magazines, brochures, catalogs, all that are means of communication. So gradual evolution of technology and now increasing pace of technology is leading to a situation where usage of paper is coming under tremendous threat. If you really see the COVID situation recently, newsprint was a fairly large industry for India also. But this one and a half to two years of COVID led to absolute change in consumption pattern of news. A lot of people stopped. I mean, they did not get newspapers at that point of time. Now, once they got used to not having newspapers for two years, a lot of them are not reading or consuming news from newspapers. So that is a segment that's come under maximum stress and maximum threat in the industry. Uh, I don't think it's going to recover any more. It looks like it's going to be in a secular decline. This happened globally earlier, but now if you see, it's happened in India also. Coming to magazines and newsprint, it is evident it happened in India also. The demand has come down. Uh, as far as another thing I would like to say is, you look at technology where it is hurting. One is we are saying the interface device from which we consume information on which paper was earlier very cheap, it was convenient, it was handy to buy, one was using it. Now interfaces have become cheaper. We have, earlier we had iPads and computers, now we have phones which are virtually all-in-one devices, whether it's to store information, whether it's to transmit information, whether it's to get information, audio, video, both. So all these technologies and as time is passing, the technology is becoming cheaper, it's becoming more efficient. One side is the device per se, the other side if you see is the mode of the, the electronic, the data behind it. Transmission is getting faster, refresh rates are getting faster. So technology is kind of swamping this area and communication as a means of communication, this segment is bound to come down unless we are talking about specialty uh, niche segments who can afford to use it. In one segment out of this, when we look at, that is, you know, it's been scientifically proven that when somebody writes, uh, information and knowledge is assimilated in the mind much better than just reading a document. So when it comes to education, especially school education and children who tend to read and write, that it will continue and it looks that will get stronger. In the Indian context, the pop children population is increasing and enrollments in schools are increasing. So writing printing segment per se, only the writing segment, that is bound to get bigger and bigger till the time population growth starts to decline. So that's one segment which I'm very confident on will grow in the Indian context. As far as books are concerned, Dicey, it's come down from 8-9 percentage levels to 4 percent levels, might come down faster also because they're getting replaced by technology. Writing, no. Writing will remain. 
coming to in that segments like we talk about quoted papers and all it's very clear that they are on the decline uh, i was looking at statistics quoted paper in 2014 15 in india was 7 lakh tons market it went up to about 9 and a half lakh tons today it's again back to 7 lakh tons so it means effectively we had a growth now it's a decline decline was more pronounced in the covid phase but yes it's again now it doesn't appear that there will be a growing segment any longer we are from the paper industry i'm sure some of us would have uh, been in the industry during 90s there were certain segments like cast coated papers which just came and disappeared i mean there is no use of that paper any longer thermal papers they are papers photographic papers these papers they came in but technology has immediately wiped them clean thermal papers are still there in india globally declining even in india might decline and i don't think there is a great life left for that so that is on the writing printing side coming to second part is storage and archival if we study the indian context in the global context also with the indian government focusing on jandhan aadhar and mobile the linkage of all three now it is very easy to store information whether it be our graduation certificates our land records our our civil records everything it can be digitally stored the advantages it can be accessed anywhere so there was a time where security papers your ledger papers parchment papers archival papers all used to be there in paper form gradually with indian governments actually india i would say is more advanced than even the european nations on this aspect where we linked the aadhar to the uh, person and his records so this digitization is going to shrink the usage of paper and archival purposes no longer would we have certificates i would say give it 5 or 7 years more new generation would not really get certificates it would all be digitally stored it can be authenticated it can be validated there can be no duplicacy so all that is leading to situations where paper being used for archival i mean where have libraries gone there are no libraries now there are very few reference books so that archival paper is all going out even if you look at the currency paper currency paper is virtually disappearing currency is going digital so these are impacts which are going to happen to paper on that side of the front so archival not very confident on again the data storage cost is reducing by the day by leaps and bound paper cost is not reducing storage costs are not in reducing in terms of physical storage go down rents energy everything is increasing so the onslaught of technology is very high in the archival part of it archival and storage so that segment is not going to withstand the onslaught now coming to the optimistic part of the story you know as a industry we are looking at a total industry which is growing upwards of 5% in the country and if we say a 200 lakh ton market 5% is 10 lakh tons every year so 10 lakh tons every year is required minimum into the market coming to the optimistic side government has had a lot of focus on ecology on recyclability on ensuring that we don't pollute the environment uh, there was a time when plastics overtook look at packaging how it evolved packaging started basically with metal or with wood metals and wood as they started getting heavier and more expensive it started moving to plastics because plastics was cheaper plastics was multiple use and plastic has many advantages but gradually as societies evolve as cultures evolve the need was felt that yes times have changed and we cannot afford to pollute the earth with too much of plastic what do we do with so much of plastic waste so then the move started towards eco friendliness you know even 10 years ago or 8 years ago paper industry used to be fighting with plastics that no we are not polluting no we are not bad we are good we are good but now it's come to a point where people have started realizing that yes paper is eco friendly i think the challenge with all of us over here is to communicate as a industry that there can be nothing better than paper as a means of uh, as a means of i would say giving communication as a means of packaging as a means of uh, using some specialized applications like you know we have these false ceilings over here we have laminates over here all these are using paper and paper is purely recyclable whether it's a false ceiling or whether it's a laminate laminate also can be recycled after a certain point of time 
also for packaging. See, it's light, it is durable, it's recyclable. So what more can you want? It gets fully composted. So in that sense, I would say packaging is a major growth segment. The only thing we need to do as an industry is to have efficient grades and good grades of paper, new applications of paper, and in addition, communication to the world and yard, use more and more paper. Paper is not cutting trees, paper is not cutting forests. And the more we communicate, the better it is for us as an industry, and the higher growth we will get in the industry. There are certain specialty applications of paper also, like you know, paper getting used into sublimation papers for fabric printing, for uh, single replacement to single use plastics as paper cups, trays, uh, disposables, tissue papers, uh, then we're talking about uh, laminate papers. So there are certain specialty filtration papers. So these segments are also bound to grow as the economy grows and people and the society evolves. So overall talking about, I would say, as an industry, we need to take a call that yes, there are certain segments which are shrinking or on the declining path. There we can have a milking strategy of wherever, whatever we make out of that. We can reinvest the profits into segments that are growing. I would look at craft, I would look at duplex boards, I would look at virgin fiber boards, I would look at specialty grades. If you were to ask me, I would say craft is the biggest growth segment and the opportunity in the India. Um, we have a lot of craft people over here, but uh, still if, if we were to speak to customers, if you were to speak to consumers at large, good quality craft is still lacking. You know, we started the country with the Maruti 800, but then today Maruti 800 is not the highest selling or Alto is not the highest selling vehicle in the segment. Because as, as people's needs evolve, you know, the, the economy grade gets reduced over a period of time. We've had a very large craft market. I would not say it's bad quality, but it is not the very, very good quality. But now there are segments with higher speed machines, higher, uh, better machines, better demand from the customers where good quality craft and craft food is also being demanded for. I was looking at imports data for whatever reason, and I was looking at imports data. A substantial quantity of good craft liner and good craft is imported humongously high prices in the country. That is because fundamentally there are certain segment of customers who do not have this readily available in the country. So asking me, I would say craft, packaging boards, both folding box board SVS grades as well as the duplex boards. This would be the growing segment in addition to specialties, which is definitely smart. Just to sum it up, I would not, I would say the paper industry I would consider is the greenest of industries. You know, we are one industry, we create our raw material in the sense we plant a small sapling and it becomes a tree. So we are creating our raw material. If we are using agri residue, somebody is planting a crop and then we are using the residue. So I, one of the rare industries which creates its raw material, it consumes the raw material by making some product out of it. It again multiple times recycles that product that you made. I mean, we not only make it, create it, we recycle it. And in the entire bargain, what we are doing is, we are doing a lot of carbon fixation, converting carbon dioxide to oxygen, which is giving us air to breathe, not only mankind, to all animal kind. All animals need oxygen to breathe. So as an industry, we are helping mankind. We are giving so much of help to other industries by protecting their goods through better packaging. We are educating the people. And to top it all, we are giving employment to millions and millions of people. So overall, if I were to say paper industry, a bright future, segments, I would look at packaging and specialties. Uh, a big thank you to all of you for having heard me patiently. And I'm sure all of us over here will definitely communicate the, uh, the green element of paper to the world at large. Thank you.